Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm digging my products out right now so that we can have conversation. I just got a little riled up. I just did a video on books I'm thankful for and uh, I got more passionate than I thought I was. I just got to talking and you know what? Sometimes you get to expressing what you're feeling. I shocked myself. Um, but anyway, this is not about books I'm thankful for. I don't know if that's going up before it. If it is, I'll link it if you're interested. If it's not, I'd love to have you back. So today, here's what I'm doing. I am kind of torn because I feel like I'm just so chill. I got hot chocolate over here. But I'm just kind of torn because I have... Here's what's happening to me. <laughs> I have not been buying makeup for a really long time. And then all of a sudden, if you saw that Sephora VIB haul, I just had a great time. Then I had gotten some drugstore makeup over the last few months. I, you know, you pick up one thing there, pick up one thing there. Boom, next thing you know, you got a lot of stuff. Um, and so that's kind of what happened. <laughs> uh, but I had some newer things that I wanted to discuss. And I was feeling really strongly about and just so pleased. Like, I mean, just so pleased. And I just wanted to just really rave about them because I also have some stuff that, you know, I could have been okay if I didn't have it. Um, but the other thing that's happening to me is that I am just rediscovering some things and I'm like, I don't want to forget this. I don't want to forget how amazing it feels to shop your stash. And I love doing that. I do it often. I will be incorporating more of that on my channel. And so I thought, you know what, let's talk about some new things that I, that like new, new, new. Um, but then let's also talk about some rediscovered loves and they're new again because they're back in rotation. They are amazing. And these still, these things still are some of the best drugstore products that I have ever touched. And I'm, I'm saying that because some of them are drugstore and some of them are just more affordable, but they are personally just still some of the best things that I have purchased. And I'm not really speaking about price point at this point. Some of these things are more expensive, some are not, but they are just really, really good. So let me have some hot chocolate and then let's do this. Cause I feel like I'm gonna get passionate again. And I'm drinking out of my Santa mug or snowman mug. Okay, let's do this. Let's get comfortable. So how should I do this? Uh, new stuff or rediscover loves? Maybe we'll ping pong it. Like a new thing or rediscover love. You know what? Let's do that. Yes. And let's start off on a strong note. Actually, I might have to end there because I didn't get paper towel. <laughs> and I'm going to need paper towel. You know what? Uh, I'm going to have to edit this video. Dang. Hold on. I'm back. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm so ready. Roll up my sleeves. Okay. First, let's start with... Ugh. This is the product that let me know for sure I needed to do this video. The... These are so good. I'm telling you they are so good. This is the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow. This particular shade is liquid gold. I have it all over my lid today. This one broke on me, so I had to fix it. Am I close enough for y'all to see? I don't know. Mm -mm, don't feel like I am. Hold on. That feels better, right? Okay. Here it is right here. I'm just checking to see if y'all can see me. Uh, right here. So good. I mean, these are still just so silky. Look at that. The swatch is unreal. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Look. Look at that. Just, these are so good. Like I said, liquid gold is great. Another favorite for me is Fireball. These are seriously some of the best metallic shadows in the affordable price range. And, I mean, they, these really, for me, I think can hold a candle to a lot of high-end things. But these are just fantastic in their own right. You know, skip high-end. These are fantastic in their whole own right. I'm just saying, it's the truth. These are so great. It doesn't hurt that it has a little bow on there. That's adorable. But these are so great. If you have not tried these, you need to. But if you have these in your collection and you know, you're just cycling through stuff, maybe you have a lot of single shadows. I don't, but I do have a lot of eyeshadow. 
just, I'm going to tell you, grab one and just implement it over this next week. And tell me, tell me that you don't have a good time using this. I don't think you're going to be able to do it because they are just so good. So first rediscover love. I'm not mad about this at all. I am just so pleased. So, and I actually used to use it all the time and I had to make myself stop using it because I was not using much else. But then I went to the other extreme and I stopped using it all together. So we're okay. bringing that back. First newer product that this was in the Sephora VIB haul. This is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. This is fantastic. I so if you saw that video, my hair was straight. My hair is back curly now. Um, and when I reverted my hair back, I have a whole routine I do when I revert my hair back. And I decided to do it super late at night like a fool. But I did that entire routine because I'm very serious about taking care of my hair this go round, especially since I got it cut. So I used this mask because this mask? I used this mask because I did a very intense protein treatment. And so I used it. This is so good. This is really nice. It is a thicker mask, but it does have a little bit of creaminess to it. It has a light, it has a soft, clean smell. Maybe just a little sweet, but definitely fresh. Um, and it's a, oh, I didn't even show y'all. It's like a white consistency. It is thick. I don't want to waste my product out, but it is thick. <laughs> um, and I it spread on the hair really well. And I remember when I was putting this in my hair, I was like, wow, that already feels really nourishing. But when I washed my hair out, my curls were so nice and defined. It was so great. I really love this. I'm actually going to go purchase a second one because I think this is going to be a great wintertime mask because it's, it's literally what it says. It is incredibly nourishing. And for my curly hair, curly hair really needs a lot of moisture. And this is just spot on. But the other thing that I think is kind of special about this is I have seen people across the board with so many different um, hair textures talk about how much they love this. So even if you don't have curly hair, it might be one, something that you want to look at some reviews on because it's been fantastic for me, but I've seen people with a vast um amount of hair textures talk about how much they love this so and i do as well so yes next rediscovered product love it's a brush um one of the things that i have just been enjoying about doing my makeup again having my makeup even out because it had been packed up since i moved in here it's just the process do you know what i mean like just the process of doing my makeup I have just really been enjoying, you know, just waking up, having the time, feeling good enough to get up, to pick out what I want to use and what foundation and all of that. And I have fallen back in love with a good foundation buffing brush. And one that's actually really good, I've had it in my collection for years actually, it's the Morphe G1 brush. This is the, I don't know the exact name, but this is a rounded, densely packed foundation buffing brush. You can tell it's dirty, I've been using it. But this is so nice. There are times where I want a bigger foundation brush and then there are times where this is just fine. This buffs the products in so well. It doesn't matter what foundation I'm using with it, it works well. And that's always going to be a determining factor to how much I love a brush. This works so great. No matter what foundation I'm using, it's never streaky, it's never patchy, it's never weird. Um, and also when I'm in a pinch, this blends out under eye concealer so well. And I think the thing that also makes it amazing is because it is densely packed, but it's also soft and it's rounded. So it personally fits around my eyes really well and it blends out concealer. I have used it with thicker concealers, thinner concealers, more creamy concealers, more liquidy concealers. Like it just blends on all so well. And I have been absolutely loving that. In a pinch, I have even used this to blend out some, uh, liquid highlight does great for that so this is a great little you know jack of all trades brush and like i said it's really soft and when i bought this brush years ago i bought a lot of morphe brushes at that time i enjoyed some of them like it was split some of them i was like oh, i could have did without it and then some i was absolutely loving and this reminded me that this is one of the ones that i was absolutely loving i haven't gotten a lot of shedding with this brush at all over the years it cleans up really well and it's still going strong for me and it's just as soft as I remember. And this brush, unlike some of the other brushes that I had tried, is one that's definitely, it was soft when I got it and it's just as soft now. So 
this brush has been a total rediscovered love and it is fantastic so if you have it pull it out but if you have any type of small rounded foundation brush and you're into rounded foundation brushes and maybe you've just been using i don't know sponges or something try using your buffing brushes again if you've kind of gotten away from them because i love sponges i am definitely a sponge girl but sometimes you need a good buffing brush and this is that a good buffing brush so loving that um what was that a rediscovered love okay a newer product to me this is the neutrogena hydra boost water gel lotion it's sunscreen broad spectrum spf 50. Whew. okay i have tried quite a few things from the neutrogena hydra boost line do y'all remember when i used to rave about the hydra boost moisturizer i actually have one in my house right now but this like my skin is dry and so I need a lot more moisture than what that can offer me, especially this time of year. This is fantastic. I picked this up on a whim. I was looking for a sunscreen for my face that was like a really lightweight. This is lightweight. I don't think it's the lightest weight by any stretch because it has some really nice hydration to it. It's not thick or anything like that but it's literally what it says. It's like a water gel lotion. Like it is. It's definitely more of a I can't even say it's definitely more of like a gel. No, it's like a gel lotion, literally like they said. So let me show you. I'm going to get close. Let's get closer than close so I can show y'all. Oh, hold on. Can you see that? So it is. It's like a gel lotion. And um, I want to get it on my rug. But that's what it looks like. Obviously, I don't use that much on my face. But And if you are familiar with the typical... Hydra Boost smell, this is that. Hold on, y'all, let me get this. So it has that typical smell. This does say that it's new, and this has been great. I will put this on after I've done my skincare routine, but before I put on my primer, and I have been absolutely loving this. And because it has a little bit of hydration, right now, my skin can take all the hydration it can get, so I'm not upset about that. But it's lightweight, and I am just so... What really took this over the edge and really let me know I wanted to talk to y'all about it is that this has not interfered weird with my makeup. And actually, you know what? <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing that it does not say that it's actually for the face. But in my Target, this was with the face sunscreen, so... Now I am a little confused, but that's what I've been using it for. I actually have not used this on my body at all yet so I really hope this is a face sunscreen but it doesn't say it on there but anyway that's what I've been using it for and it's been great it does say on here that it quenches skin with hydration it definitely does um, for some people this might be um, all the sunscreen that you need because it seems to be like a for some people this could be your sunscreen and your moisturizer it's definitely not enough hydration for it to be that for me but for some people this i could see this being enough depending on what your skin type is it also says that it's non-greasy it is non-greasy but you do have like a layer of hydration that's evident if that makes sense like you're gonna know the hydration is there it's not weird it's not uncomfortable i'm not like oh let me take this off it's just very clear that you have hydrated your face so i love that and it's been doing great i mean it's been doing fantastic under makeup and it's just sitting on my vanity now because i'm just i am just i did not expect that i don't know what i was expecting but not that and it's fantastic so highly 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 recommend that Okay, another rediscovered product, love. Oh, these. Oh, you're not even ready. These are the Maybelline Loaded Bow Lipsticks. To this day, I think these are one of the best products that Maybelline ever came out with, number one. I'm going to make a few claims. I stand by them. One of the best products Maybelline ever came out with. One of the best lipsticks that the drugstore has ever seen. And one of the best lipsticks, regardless of price. And this hangs with so many lipsticks this is i want to say this is my favorite lipstick but it, it is definitely one of my favorites if not my favorite just like straight up regular lipstick because when i want a regular lipstick with just all the, and with all the staying power in the world look i'm just tripping over my words i'm so excited <laughs> um with all the staying power in the world no sacrificing on pigmentation and it doesn't necessarily dry my lips out these are so good i am wearing coffee addiction today because i needed to get some use out of this shade this oh what am i doing look i'm so excited i can't even 
here it is right here and I'm just doing a big swatch so you can see it but these are like one swipe pigmentation this is smoking red I'm just gonna mm. look at that mm. so good these are so nice they almost have like a staining effect to the lips they almost have like a staining effect to the lips they last so well i mean i remember when i used to wear these and they would just wear all day they really would sometimes a little bit of wear down but just like a little bit of wear down but they wear all day so if you're somebody that's like i'm really not about liquid lipsticks but i want a long wearing very pigmented lipstick i would highly highly recommend that you look at these because they are just so fantastic i'm reminded of how much i love them and they're just one of the best lipsticks they're one of the best lipsticks i have ever 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 used they are so good because they're so creamy and pigmented and long wearing and just beautiful on the lips you know sometimes your lips are just not up for a liquid lipstick every day and these are fantastic so do not forget about these if you have them in your collection pull them out they are great and if you haven't tried them you know i know i'm talking about a rediscovered love but i think it's okay if you go to the drugstore and get one of these because they're great <laughs> Um, so another new product. I am wearing this in my waterline today. Um, this is the Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. I actually have this one in the brown shade. I don't know the specific name. Oh, Sharp Brown. 220 Sharp Brown. I don't know why I had been put off from trying this. I walked past it so much. Honestly, I think what it is is that I was like, Bridget, you don't need that. Like, you have eyeliners, but really, I don't. I have to tell you, if there's a category where I really don't, like, go crazy with makeup, because <laughs> I have a healthy amount of makeup, it's eyeliners. I don't. Most days when I do my makeup, I don't wear eyeliner, especially, like, not a across my top lid every once in a while, but I don't. Um, but even the liners that I had, a lot of them were old. I got rid of them and so I just really don't have a lot of eyeliners at all and there were times when I was doing my makeup and I was like "Ooh, a brown would be great but I didn't have a brown anymore and so I recently picked this one up and I have to say I love and I don't want to wind it up too much because the thing about it is you can't wind it back down this is super skinny and so it is just perfect for lining the waterline this actually surprised me with how well it wears on my waterline let me give you a swatch of this i don't want to and it's creamy i'm doing a big swatch because i just want you to be able to see it um it's creamy but it's also just like a little bit i don't know i don't want to say dry but i definitely think it has that gel type formula and so it really adheres to my eye <laughs> to my water light and I love that so I've just been loving that and then again like I said it's a skinny pencil so it, it's just a really good size for down there and that is it down oh and it's great for pointing that's it down there make sure y'all can see that but yeah that's it right there fantastic this is a great one I'm gonna tell you right now when I find myself in Walmart again I will be picking this up in a black shade this it just shocked me how much I liked it and I was like why did it take me so long to try this I don't know um I, I have just been enjoying it so much like I I want to use it all the time now so this has kind of reinvigorated me in eyeliner so yay for that um last rediscovered product love that i want to mention and i'm going to try not to talk about this for 30 years because whenever i talk about it i get real passionate this is the elf prism eyeshadow in the shade naked let me let me say elf is a brand that i feel real educated in talking about because from the moment elf jumped off i was on the train i have tried so so much elf over the years I have loved some of it I have thought some of it was just okay I have thought some of it was blah I have thought some of it was really just not good I don't care how much it was um this is something that I think is fantastic oh don't ever get rid of this this is one of the best things you have ever done and I'm just being very real with you friend of friend friend of friend this is the best thing you ever did and out of all the prism palettes this is the bell the best elf needs to take this formula and run with it I'm, i want to cover this up so i'm not blinding you let me grab a book so here are the shades right here hold on i feel like we're still not close enough 
what the heck okay <laughs> here are the shades right here i know in the pan it might look like uh, you know bridget like what, what what are you raving about listen <laughs> this have you ever had an eyeshadow palette where you do your eyes with it and you just come away thinking it looks pretty this is that every time like it's just it's the finished look it's just pretty these shades are just pretty they look really great they are formulated so well like so well and if you wet them you're gonna go to a different place you're gonna go to a different place i rediscovered this palette um one day i was getting ready and i don't know i was just playing and i was using my new urban decay palette that i got during the sale and i was playing and i used this one and then every day <laughs> i'm like you should use the urban decay one so i was using the mattes in there but i was putting a shimmer shade on my lid i mean a metallic type shade on my lid with this because i can you see that yep i could not stop using it i just remembered how pretty it looked this is my favorite naked type of palette i have recently purchased um the urban decay naked right but in terms of like a i don't know i think they named this perfect because their shades some of these are more muted shades but i'm telling you it is just beautiful and if you like a really pretty bronzy eye too beautiful i have even used these first couple as a uh, face highlights great for that too and i love the mirror in here elf just Elf just really pleased me with this because this is top notch in my personal opinion. This is so good. I don't think you're going to get better than this in a lot of ways. This is really good. I'm I'm being very honest with you here. This is so good. <laughs> I'm like tripping over my words now because I'm trying to figure out what do I need to say to let you know that I am just so pleased with this rediscovery. It's so good. It's sitting on top of my vanity now because I love it and this is one of those products that I rediscover every few months because what happens is that I rediscover it I use it like crazy and then I abandon other stuff <laughs> so then I have to put it down so that I can go back to using other stuff and then the cycle just continues and I'm not upset about that because every time it's a happy little surprise so highly I, I've just been loving this and enjoying it so so much and just really I don't know, just enjoying eyeshadow. So loving that. Okay, final thing, final, final thing. Um, this is new. Not this, but this right here. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. I think somewhere on the packaging or in the advertising or something. It said it was supposed to be 24 hours. I don't know about that, but it is long wearing. Um, this brow, I was so ready to not like this. <laughs> I was so I was like mm, no but I my curiosity got the best of me and I was like you know what uh, tattoo I, I'm gonna try that I love it I I started off with brow gel and then I discovered pencils and I never looked back it has been years since I've used anything that was not a pencil years uh, but this this is all I've been wanting to use it's so nice um i don't care for this applicator it's like a spongy applicator i this product is so pigmented and so i mean very pigmented so i don't know how they thought you were just going to take this sponge and just wipe it across and your brows were going to look good and just like together i don't know how they thought they were going to do that but if you have a really nice angle brush if you don't i highly recommend the elf swan angle brush i think this is like three dollars and it's small enough and flexible enough, but not too flexible. Where, you know, I just literally, when I'm doing my brows, I tap someone here and then I just fill them in. And this is a good shade for me. Let me tell you what shade I have. I have deep brown. This is a really good shade for me. It stays really well. It does have a smell to it, I will say that. It, I don't know, it's like a strong smell. I can't. I can't really describe what it smells like. It doesn't bother me. I don't notice it when it's on my face or anything like that. And I only smell it when I get super close up like that. But it does have a smell to it, just so you know. Um, 
but it's so good. It really locks the brows in. And I am somebody I live and breathe by my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. It is the best eyebrow gel ever, but it's clear. I don't even put that over this. Well, I have in the past, but I really don't need to because this really locks the brows in. So most days I don't, and I just use this by itself. Even with the wonky applicator, I will use this up. I will repurchase this because this is really, really nice. And it's kind of nice to like switch up my makeup routine and be using a different format for my eyebrow, pro like for my eyebrows because I've just been using what I've been using for so long. So, boom. <sighs> feel like I just really, really went there with those products. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I hope you enjoy it. We're celebrating the new, we're appreciating the old, we're bringing them together. And those are things that have allowed me to do that and just really just geek out over makeup. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.